Hello everyone, this is Siddhant Ray here. In today's video, we'll dive into one of the fundamental tasks in Java, printing to the console. Whether you're completely new to programming or just starting with Java, understanding how to print output is a vital first step. In this video, we'll cover how Java handles printing using system.out.println, explain its syntax, explore different ways to print variables, and discuss how this seemingly simple operation is a powerful tool for debugging. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp of how to print different types of information to the console and why it's essential for learning Java. Let's get started. To understand how printing works in Java, we need to start with the basics of the Java syntax. Every Java program begins with a class definition. A class in Java is like a blueprint for creating objects, but at the very least, it serves as a container that holds all your code. For example, you might write something like this. Public class main, curly bracket, public static void main string args, curly bracket, your code goes here, curly bracket close, curly bracket close. In this example, main is the class name. And within this class, we have the main method. The main method is where every Java program starts executing. It is always written as public static void main string args. The public keyword means that the method can be accessed from outside the class. Static means it belongs to the class rather than an instance of the class and void means the method doesn't return anything. The parameter string args is used to pass arguments from the command line, but for now we'll focus on what happens inside the method. Everything inside the curly braces is part of the main method and that's where your code will live. Now that we understand the structure of a Java program, let's dive into the core of today's lesson, system.out.println. This is one of the most commonly used commands in Java and it's how we print text, numbers, and other data to the console. Let's break this command down. System, this is a class in Java standard library that provides access to system level resources like input, output, and error streams. Out, this is an instance of the print stream class, which represents the standard output stream, which is usually on the console or terminal. Print ln brackets. This method prints whatever you pass to it, followed by a new line, the println method is versatile because it can handle different types of data, strings, integers, doubles, and more. Here is a simple example. System.out.println hello world. This prints hello world to the console. It's the very first program most beginners write in Java, and it's a great way to see how output works. Now, let's take a look at a simple code example that prints hello world to the console. Here's what the code looks like. Public class main, public static void main string args, system.out.println hello world, and the curly brackets close. When you run this program, the string hello world is printed to the console. This is a basic example, but it's powerful because it introduces the concept of sending output from your program. Without a way to display output, it would be hard to tell if your code is running correctly. Next, let's talk about printing variables. You can use system.out.println to print more than just static text. You can also print the values of variables. Let's look at an example where we print the result of a calculation. In AS5, in BS10, system.out.println, the sum of A and B is colon plus A plus B. In this example, we declare two integers A and B. The expression A plus B calculates their sum and the result 15 is printed to the console along with the text. The sum of A and B is followed by the answer. This is extremely useful when you want to display the result of a computation which is something you'll do frequently in Java programming. Concatenation in Java printing. Java allows you to combine or concatenate different pieces of text and variables in a single print statement using the plus operator. Here's an example of how concatenation works. String name is John, system.out.println hello plus name plus exclamation. This code will print hello John to the console. The plus operator is used to join the string hello with the value of the name variable and then we add an exclamation mark at the end. This kind of concatenation makes it easy to construct dynamic output messages. In addition to printing variables and text, Java also supports special characters known as escape sequences. These are used when you want to include characters that have special meanings, such as new lines or tabs in your output. For example, if you want to print two lines of text, you can use the slash n escape sequence, which represents a new line. System.out.println hello slash n world. This will output hello, enter key, world. 
Escape sequences are handy when you need to format your output across multiple lines or include special characters like tabs or quotation marks. If you want more control over the format of your output, Java provides the printf method. This method allows you to print formatted strings. For example, if you want to print the value of pi rounded to two decimal places, you can do it like this. System.out.printf, the value of pi is approximately %.2f, math.pi. This prints the value of pi is approximately 3.14. The percentage point to f tells Java to format the floating point number to two decimal places. This is just one example of how printf gives you precise control over how your output is displayed. Finally, let's talk about why system.out.println is such an important tool for developers. Printing isn't just about showing results. It's also a critical part of debugging. When you're working on complex programs, you'll often print variable values or intermediate results to the console to see how your program is behaving. This can help you identify bugs and ensure that your code is functioning as expected. For example, let's say you're writing a program that calculates the sum of a list of numbers, but you're not getting the expected result. You can add print statements throughout your code to display the current value of the sum at different points in the calculation. This will help you trace the flow of your program and identify where things are going wrong. In summary, system.out.println is a foundational tool in Java that not only allows you to display text and variables, but also helps you debug and better understand how your code works. We've explored its syntax, its components, and how you can use it to print various types of output, including strings, variables, and formatted text. In future videos, we'll build on this knowledge to explore more advanced Java concepts. But for now, mastering how to print to the console is a crucial skill for any beginner. So, try these examples in your own code, experiment with printing different types of variables and use system.out.println to help debug and improve your understanding of Java. See you soon everyone, bye for now.